Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about complex numbers in algebra. So first of all, complex numbers are any numbers that have a real and an imaginary part. So some examples could include 2 plus 5i, 6 minus 4i. Technically, the i can go first, like we could have negative 4i plus 6, and that's the same thing. But typically, we'll write it as this way, real part first than the imaginary part. Remember that imaginary number i is the square root of negative one, but that's not really gonna matter for today's video because we're gonna be talking about basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of complex numbers. So let's go ahead and look at our first example, which is going to be addition. Let's say I have three plus two i plus negative six plus four i. So for addition, it's really easy. You just have to add the real parts together. So this is three minus six, which is negative three. And then you do the same thing with the imaginary parts, two i plus four i, and that's going to be positive six i. And so our final answer is negative three plus six i, and that's it. That's how we add imaginary numbers. It's the easiest example out of all of them. Next we have subtraction of complex numbers, which would look something like this negative five plus i minus two minus two i. So the first thing we do whenever we have subtraction, I like to distribute the minus sign to both terms and then make it addition again, because I really like addition. So in other words, this is going to be negative two and then double negative here makes it plus four i. And then I still have the negative five plus i out in front. You can put parentheses here if you want it is optional though, so I'm just going to ignore them for now, because now all I gotta do is negative five minus two, that's negative seven, and then this i right here, remember, whenever you just see an i, that's technically one i, so that means I have one i plus four i, that is plus five i, and there is our answer, negative seven plus five i. So why don't you try this one on your own for practice? Four plus five i minus 10 plus 12 i. So go ahead, give this one a try, pause the video, and when you're ready to see the solution, unpause it. Okay, so here's what I would do. First, distribute the negative sign, so it's negative 10 minus 12 i, and then the first term is four plus five i. So I have four minus 10, which is negative six, and then five i minus 12 i, that's gonna be minus seven i, and there, there's our answer, not too bad. And now for the next few examples we're gonna do, we're gonna do some multiplication. Now before we do the multiplication, I just wanna say one thing you need to know. If I have three i times another i, then this would end up being three i squared. And whenever you see i squared, that's gonna be negative one, so this result would be negative three. So you need to know that before we do the next example. So let's say I have 10 minus 4i times negative 2 minus 3i. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to FOIL this. First, outer, inner, last. The first term is 10 times negative 2, which is negative 20. Next, the outer, 10 times negative 3i, which is minus 30i. Then I do the inner, negative 4i times negative 2. Double negative makes it plus 8i. And then the last term is negative four i times negative three i, again a double negative, that will be plus 12 i squared. Make sure you see where that's coming from, negative four i times negative three i. And then all I'm gonna do is group the like terms together. Negative 30 i plus eight i is gonna reduce to negative 22 i. And then this last one here, 12 i squared, I know that's negative one, so it's really negative 12 which can now be grouped with the negative 20 out in front. Negative 20 minus 12, that's gonna be negative 32 minus 22i, and that's the answer for that one. So now let's see if you can do this one on your own. I have two minus i times one plus nine i. So go ahead, give this one a try, and when you're ready to see the solution, unpause the video. So here's what we're gonna do. First, outer, inner, last. 2 times 1 is just 2, then 2 times 9i is plus 18i. Next term, 
negative i times one. Both of these are just kind of like one because this is negative one i times one. You're just gonna get minus one i. Or you could just say minus i, that's okay too. And then for the last one, negative one i times nine i is gonna be minus nine i squared. And yes, that i squared will be negative one, which means it's a double negative, and so I really have plus nine at the end here. 18i minus 1i is gonna be 17i, and then I just have to combine the like terms two and positive nine, giving me a final answer of 11 plus 17i. And there we go, that's it for that one. And then for the last examples we're gonna to have today, it's division, so it's gonna look something like this, six plus five i divided by three minus three i. So first of all, I don't want you to think that you have to divide anything per se. The only thing wrong with this is the fact that you cannot have imaginary numbers in the denominator. Imaginary numbers can't be in the denominator. So how do I get them out? We multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. Now, what is the conjugate? The conjugate is this. 3 plus 3i, as you can see, I just flipped the sign on the second term, and whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top as well. And so what I'm gonna tell you is the denominator is gonna simplify very nicely, the numerator will not, but I do have to foil both the numerator and the denominator. So then starting with the numerator, I have six times three, which is 18, then six times three i, which is plus 18 i, and then five i times three is plus 15 i, and five i times three i is plus 15i squared. So then reducing the numerator, I can combine these two terms. 18 plus 15 is 33i. And then 15i squared is really negative 15 because of that negative one property. And 18 minus 15 is just positive three. So bam, there's my numerator. Now for the denominator, I'll just write it down here. It's three minus three i times three plus three i. And like I said, this is gonna reduce very nicely. The conjugate is very nice when we reduce it. So three times three is nine. Three times three i is plus nine i. Then negative three i times three is minus nine i. And then the last one is negative three i times positive three i, which is gonna be minus nine i squared. Now, 9i and negative 9i, these will cancel. This happens every time we do the conjugate. The imaginary part will always cancel. That's the special property. And this i squared becomes negative one, so really we have plus nine, and nine plus nine is 18, so the denominator is just 18. And so therefore, my final answer is three plus 33i divided by 18, and one bonus feature for this one, since everything here is divisible by three, I can divide everything by three, and I'll get a final answer of one plus 11i divided by six. And that's the neatest way you can write this answer. So now we're just gonna do one more, and we'll end it there. Let's say I want you to divide one plus i divided by two plus four i. So go ahead, give this one a try. Remember to multiply by the conjugate, and when you're ready to see the solution, unpause the video. So first, I'm going to be multiplying by two minus four i divided by two minus four i. Then I have to foil the numerator. When I do that, I'm gonna get one times two is two, one times negative four i is minus four i, then i times two is plus two i, and i times negative four i is minus four i squared. And then I'll just do the denominator two. So for the denominator, it's two times two, which is four. Two times negative four i is minus eight i. Four i times two is plus eight i. And then four i times negative four i is negative 16 i squared. So then reducing this further, starting with the numerator, the negative four i plus two i will reduce to minus two i. The negative four i squared because the negative one will become just plus four. And so my numerator is gonna be two plus four, which is six, minus two i, that's it for the numerator. And then for the denominator, the negative eight i and the plus eight i cancel. This negative 16 i squared will become plus 16, again, because of the negative one from the i squared. 
and 4 plus 16 is 20. And then we can reduce this further because everything is divisible by 2. So final answer will be 3 minus i over 10. And there we go. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.